Hey everybody, how you doing? My name is Solomon and if you're new to the channel, I normally talk about minimalism, lifestyle, and tech. So today I'm going to be you know, following up on a video I made previously about a week ago about Dr. Broner's soap. So this is gonna be a video about the good, the bad, and you know, the solution that I came up with at the end. So stay tuned to the end to figure out what I did. So let's talk about the good. So number one for me, and the most important thing is the scent. If the soap doesn't smell good, why should I use it? I like soap that you know smells good, mainly because when I'm taking a shower, I want to feel you know relaxed. I want to feel comfortable. I don't want to just be like, oh, I'm taking a shower and then get out. No, you could, for the most part, smell the soap a bar while it's still in the package. And once you take it out the package, the, the smell, the aroma is just you know amazing. It just fills the shower and it just you know relax you as you're cleaning yourself. So that's you know a good for me. Also, what I really like is how the soap you know ladders up i personally like a soap that gets like really soapy because i feel like if the soap does not get soapy i'm not really cleaning myself i'm just rubbing dirt around i don't know if you guys are like that too but that's just you know a pet peeve for me with soap if the soap does not like ladder up nice i don't like it at all so this soap actually works really good in that aspect also another reason as to why I like this soap and why I think it's good is because the way it treats my skin. Sometimes when I get out of the shower, my skin will feel, you know, kind of dry. And I mainly attribute that to because I like to take really, really hot showers. I know you're supposed to take like like warm showers, but I personally like to be like like boiling in the shower. So that could be another reason as to why my skin is really getting dry after the shower. But also, it's pretty good on your skin and it's made out of like, um, like natural products. So I personally haven't had any problem with that. Now let's talk about the bad of the soap bars. As you can see, it's about four inches by two. So it's not a big bar at all. And for the most part, this bar does not go a long way, especially if you have two people in your household and those two people are taking two showers a day and using this bar. This bar lasted only about a week and a half in my home and you know, for the price point that I spent on this, that does not work out in like a financial way. So that's one of the bad things about this bar. Also, my wife, she has you know sensitive skin. She has eczema. And she said that this you know this soap dries out her skin even more. And when I feel it, I'm like, oh. But you know, I don't know. It could be she's allergic to something in here. It could be you know the temperature of the water that she's using, or you know the lotion that she's putting on afterwards. I just said, you know what, like, let's you know, continue to see if it still gives you that problem. Maybe your body just has to get used to this type of soap. But going forward in the future, if you do decide to get this bar of soap and you have sensitive skin, maybe buy one bar of soap just to test out the product. Don't buy a whole variety six pack of the soap only to find out that your skin cannot really handle it. Since I like the soap and really you know, love the smell, and love how it feels on my body and love how I could use it multiple ways. I opted to, you know, just use the bars of soap for my face and then get my favorite scents for my extra shower gel and just leave that in the shower and use this. As you can see, this is a way bigger uh, container of the soap and it's kind of like a, a concentrate. So you could dilute this. You don't need to use a whole lot to get it really soapy. My wife was able to get it for 13 bucks at Bed Bath & Beyond. And this one right here, like I said, is about maybe, you know, almost $5 a bar. So on a financial standpoint, this is a better deal as opposed to this. But the reason I still have these is because, you know, I bought a variety pack and I'm not gonna let them go to waste. So I'm gonna continue to use these for my face. So you guys, I hope you liked that video. If you did, please press that like button and subscribe to my channel. I normally make videos every week. Also press that notification button so you can be notified when I drop a new video. Thanks you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.